Department, Service Department, Condominium. Why are they called different when they all have the same look? And did you know that differences could make a huge impact on your bank account and lifestyle? In today's video, at Home Asia, your reliable agent will answer all of your questions before you commit to any lease or buy these properties. At Home Asia, real estate, real life. If you are suffering because you have no idea what else is different besides your building appearance, you better stick with us because in this video, we would like to share with you as many differences as we can. Oh, and also some similarities. Just for the liquor, I will only be discussing the differences between apartment, service apartment, and condominium in the context of Thailand. In Thailand, the way of meaning of the property names is different from those in the West. So, instead of focusing only on their names, we should consider to get a stronger understanding of the services and ownership. So, we would like to compare apartments, service apartment, and condominium according to six main topics. And let's start with the first one, ownership. Apartments, service apartment are properties built by the landlord only for rent, so you cannot buy it as your own. Meanwhile, condominiums are built by developers to buy and sell, which means you can buy and own it. And people often buy the rooms at investments to rent out, which means you can also rent the rooms directly from the owner. So, if you're wondering, can I buy an apartment? The answer is nope, you cannot. Secondly, cost. Let's start with the service apartment. The rent of service apartment includes utility bills, service and maintenance cost. Meanwhile, living in a condominium or an apartment as a rental generally has the same cost that you have to pay before moving in which means you have to pay a two-month deposit and one-month rent in advance. However, the expense of utility bills in these two properties are different. Condominium charge electric power and water bills based on government rate. Meanwhile, apartment charge them in a higher rate divided by a landlord and in some cases, a fixed rate. So, it's important to discuss these charges with the landlord first. Apartment services will differ depending on the pricing range and the landlord design. And also, you can bring up all of the maintenance problems directly to the landlord or the staff, so they can fix them right away, which is so convenient. Meanwhile, you will get a services and maintenance from the service apartment that are level up and it usually found in the hotel, like a daily or weekly housekeeping, laundry, taxi service, a food service, all like and more. And what's about the service and maintenance that you will get after buying or leasing a condominium? Whether you buy or rent a condo, it will offer you a service facilities like swimming pool, gym, common spaces, and more, depending on the pricing range. But if we talk about the maintenance, it will be different. If you buy a condominium as your own, you can manage every problem by yourself. But if you rent a condo, it will be a bit complicated if some maintenance issue happen. For instance, like the water leaking from the ceiling, you have to contact to the room owner first so she or he can report the problem to the condo staff. And it will be great if you got a nice and responsible room owner. But if you meet the one who is in the opposite, it will be a little bit tough. So, to make sure the way of service and maintenance that you will get match your lifestyle. As 
after talking about services and maintenance things, now let's talk about what you can expect from the room if you decide to buy or rent one from these properties. Furnishing. After you decide to rent apartment, service apartment, condominium, the furnishing may not be that much different. But what is remarkable for each place is its style. If you only prefer a decor in general, you better go for an apartment. But what if you want to rent something a little bit more fancy? Condo will be the way to go. But in case of if you buy a condo for your own, it may or may not have been furnished. Anyway, if you want more functionality than design, you should go for the service apartment as they have everything that you need. With just a single bag, you can live a happy life there. And to your next question, after you have decided on the perfect style for yourself, how long can I stay? The duration of stays at a tenant in condominium and apartment is less flexible. The minimum leasing term is 6 to 12 months. Meanwhile, service apartment offer you a more flexible period of staying, like weekly 2-3 months or more than that depending on your needs. So, this is an important concern if you are visiting Bangkok as a tourist and have not decided how long you're gonna stay. Maybe the service apartment is a good option. But if you are an expat family, personally, I think a condominium and apartment can be a good option too. And the final important comparison topic, location. The comparison of three accommodation is based on location. Apartments, whether normal or serviced, are often located in residential area, a little far from the main street, whereas condos are normally located near the main road or public transportation, making them more convenient. So try to choose it based on your need if you want like a quiet and peace you better go for apartments. But if you want easy to access thing, condos will be the better option. Before leasing or buying any properties, it's important to consider both of differences and similarities between places to make the most of your money and pick the best fit for your lifestyle. And if you still can decide, feel free to contact us at ComAsia, your reliable agent who will make sure you get the most out of your money and you stay. And if you want more useful information like this, don't forget to subscribe to our at ComAsia channel. And see you in next video. Bye-bye.